Rational Functions Application. I am Anil Kumar and we will see how to do rational function applications using rate. It takes 12 minutes to fill a bathtub with the drain closed. If the tap is closed, it takes 20 minutes to drain the bathtub. How long does it take to fill the bathtub with both tap and the drain open? So it's a very interesting question. I like you to pause the video and answer this question, right? So let us say this is our bathtub, right? And here is the tap. Plus it has a drain also to let the water out. Now, whenever we say it takes 12 minutes to fill the bathtub, that means it is a positive operation as compared to draining out will be considered as a negative operation, right? So we'll use positive sign for filling up and negative sign to drain the water out, correct? Now let's see how to solve this type of question. When we say it takes 12 minutes to fill a bathtub with the drain closed, let us say drain this total volume in this bathtub is let's say V units, right? So V is the volume and it takes 12 minutes to fill the bathtub. So the rate of filling is V over 12. This is rate of filling. If the tap is closed, it takes 20 minutes to drain the bathtub. So the whole volume is drained out in 20 minutes, right? So that is the rate of drainage. Now the question is, how long does it take to fill the bathtub with both the tap and the drain open? That means tap is also open and drain is also open. So water is being filled and it is being drained out also since the draining rate is lesser than that of filling rate ultimately it gets filled up now you need to find how much time will it take right so the equation becomes that when it fills up let's say time be t let's say time to fill be t so in that case when they work together then v over 12 that is when we are filling minus v over 20 when we are taking away that this water is being drained out but ultimately the whole volume is filled and takes let us say time t then that is going to be our equation correct now v and v's will cancel in the numerator so we have 1 over 12 minus 1 over 20 equals to 1 over t correct so always we will see this kind of a situation so the rate of filling take away rate of drainage is the rate of working together that is how you can look into this equation right it will really help you to understand and solve these questions so always look at it as a rate now let us solve this equation on the right side so the equation for us is 1 over 12 minus 1 over 20 equals to 1 over time taken to fill it when the drain is open so common denominator, so lowest common denominator in this case is t times, we can find 12 times 20 also, but we can find a common value. So it should be, so to find common denominator, what we can also do is, we can use this, 20 and 12, so we see 4 is common, for example, 4 times 5 and 4 times 3. So if you multiply 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60. So 60 could be a common denominator, correct? So what we will do is we'll multiply everything by 60t since t is also there. So if you multiply everything by 60t, this also by 60t, this also by 60t, what do you get? So 1 over 12 times 60t so 12 goes 5 times we get 5t minus this goes 3t equals to 60 5 minus 3 is 2 so 2t equals to 60 and t is equals to 60 divided by 2 or 30 minutes so the answer is 30 minutes well for some of you find it kind of tricky may not use lowest common denominator you can multiply by 12 times 20 times t, right? 
So let me show you that also. So you get 30 minutes and let me now do the same thing. So it is 1 over 12 minus 1 over 20 equals to 1 over t, right? If I multiply everything by 12 times 20 times t, so I'm saying 12 times 20 times t, then what do I get here? Here I'll get 20t, right? So I get 20t minus 12t equals to 12 times 20. Is that okay? That is how it is going to be. So 20 minus 12 is 8. So 8t equals to 12 times 20. Okay, let me push it a bit. And t will be equals to 12 times 20 divided by 8. Correct? So 8 if you say 4 times, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3, and that goes 10 times, so we still get 30, the same answer, right? So either way, you get 30, right? So always you don't have to really multiply by the lowest common denominator. At times it can be tricky. So we can write down our answer. The answer is it will take 30 minutes to fill the bathtub with the drain open, right? I hope that helps to understand the situation. Thank you and all the best.